especially if your receivers understand leverage a little bit, um, which we see here as Coastal's players clearly do with this, uh, we'll call it a tight end here, kind of bowing his – or flattening out his his corner route to stay underneath um, the boundary safety here is closing yeah. from the 40-yard yeah. line, creating so more space. flattening it out, yeah, mm -hmm. to maintain that space. I mean, he had the snag here if he wants to work oh, off yeah. of it based upon the depth of this backer dropping. So, um, so – did he throw it to the right spot? Yeah. Um, is it on time? Accurate? Yep. Especially when you consider, if you go back and look at the pocket, uh, in this game, he was sacked four times. Um, I think I want to say this is the most sacks he's taken in a game in his career. Frankly, the UCLA defensive front, which is really good this year, they, they got after Coastal Carolina, man. And here you're going to see, I mean, he's got a guy right in his face. Uh, but throwing yeah. through contact, that I mean, that shows up on the film quite a mm -hmm. bit. So. Yeah. I mean, he needs to get in the mouth at the top of his drop here, right? Like, the ball's got to come out, and it does. And like you said, able to stand in there and deliver, be on the same page with this guy. You know, I, I mentioned that he was, the, you know, the receiver's flattening the route out, but the quarterback has to throw it flat also because he, if he sells this thing high, it's a pick. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, so he has to see the same thing, got to be on the same page, right? So if this guy's going to flatten this out, you don't want the quarterback throwing the high, right, where it's up here and now you're – Got the safety involved. So, yeah, good read all the way around. Snag Lion, a Tim Beck staple, right? We saw it at NC State quite a bit. We see uh, Grayson McCall executed pretty easily there. In the back corner of the right. end zone. We saw Dakari Collins do it against UNC. And we know Kevin Concepcion can run it out there from the slot too. So the fade ball might be making a comeback for the Wolfpack in 2024, something we did not see often at all in 2003. Oh, State was awful at throwing the fade this year. Offensively, I mean, they were atrocious. Um, one thing that, that I find interesting here, this is McCall's pre-snap decision. Uh, if you look at the concept, they're actually just running a pretty basic mesh concept. I mean, we, yeah. gosh, we've seen we've seen them run it, you know, a hundred times. You got the rail route, and I believe this is your number. So this would be one, two. Then you got your over the ball, but this mm -hmm. is your alert. He's not actually part of the progression. This is Grace McCall saying, "Hey, I like the matchup." I'm going to ignore the concept, and I'm just going to I'm going to say one on one. I like my guy. I'm going to throw it, and he's yep. going to win, right? So this is him taking the alert in the mesh concept, not actually throwing the the pass concept. Yeah, one step, a little rocker, a little yeah. you know semi back shoulder ish, but it's not a hundred percent. But and so the the other thing that jumps out to me, and I've got this in my notes, in a way I think. Coach and I makes it easier on the quarterbacks and what we saw under some of this Chadwell and Corn offense. I mean, if you're looking at what McCall's asked to do here, right? You're in a pistol alignment. So now he's got to play action. He's got to get off this midline to play action initially, right? And then, so he's got to get his feet right. Then he's going to turn his feet here again. He's going to fake the swing screen, right? So this is the second element of the play. So he's got to fake the swing screen, turn there. And now he's got to reset. He's going to have a guy in his face. He's got to find the secondary, where's the coverage, and make a good throw. There's a lot of elements to that offense. And in a way, I think Coach and I's offense is just not that complicated for the quarterbacks, right? This is a lot. Now, this is a heck of an offense they ran, right? And this is one of the reasons why. But I'll also go back to a comment I made in kind of the opening. I think he can bring some elements to the NC State offense to enhance it more, right? We, we've talked all, all offseason about the personnel, who they brought in the transfer portal, and they've recruited all that kind of stuff. I think conceptually, like bringing in some of this pistol stuff, I mean, I think this is really hard on a defense when you're looking at the downhill run possibilities. And, you know, you accurately pointed out, I mean, look how hard these guys are just playing downhill and what it did to them. I mean, I'd love to see some of these elements introduced to the state offense this year. Yeah. He's, he's a good ball handler. It's good ball fakes. Obviously a good pump fake as well. That stuff translates. You know, you know what's subtle about that pump fake too? And and a nugget for anybody that, that cares. The the part of the pump fake that gets the defense to bite is taking your left hand off the ball. So you watch you see it right there. The, the hands separate. And when the hands separate, that's a pretty clear indicator that a throw is coming. You know, you don't don't think of the the, you know, the, the two visuals that you always see are keeping two hands on the ball and, like, throwing your shoulders out 
And then to me, know, that's always the Peyton Manning. Peyton I feel like Manning. he used to always do that. Yeah. And he was, you know, he, he was good. He was a good. And he had a pretty good career. Pretty good career. He's fine. <laughs> but the the separating of the hands lets you keep your lets you keep your shoulders in a in a better position to get uh to be able to throw off of it quicker, so to speak. 